Welcome to Quick Desk. Today we will launch a EC2 instance and we will access to it via SSH or secure cell. So it will be a short video. Let's just start. I'm on my AWS console already. So click on services and under the compute tab select EC2 services. Click on instances. Here click on launch instances. Here you can enter the name for your web server. And in EMI I have selected Amazon Linux image. You can select any EMI from it. Basically it is the operating system which you will get in your server. For instance type I have selected t 2 dag Micro as it is free TI eligible. You can also select other available instance types as per your demand or requirement for key pair we will just create a new key pair and click on create key pair keep this PEM file as we need it later to connect to our server in security group allow the SSS traffic as it is needed for now I am just allowing the traffic from my IP you can select it from anywhere any storage I have am selecting 30 gigs of storage and just click on launch instance here we have the instance ID just click on it here the instance is in pending state it will take a few moment to get it at, at in a running state Yeah, this is in running state. Just copy the public IP as we need it to connect to this instance. For second, we need a tool called Putty. So just Google Putty. I'm on Windows, so I'm downloading the 64 bit package. And third, we need a tool called WinSCP. This is the secure copy protocol actually that will integrate with the putty. So just click on NSCP. We need to install both of these. Just click on accept. Accept and do next, next, next. For the putty also. Do next, next, store. finished and we are just launching this is our win scp in host name just paste the copied ip and in username we have the username ec2 hyphen user for the amazon linux need to go to advanced under ssh on authentication private key file here the key file is in PEM form so just click on all files and select that PEM file it will automatically convert into the format just click on OK and save and click on login just click yes here we are logged into our server so this is basically the SFT protocol for SSH, just click on this. Yeah, we are logged into a server. You can also run sudo. Yeah, that's it. Bye.